Greetings from the past within the time travels and welcome back to another episode of the Boogeyman. And we're going to move forward. But let's see what's up there. A wooden nameplate, it says Envy Do. What the heck is that? A crate over a hole, nothing is inside. Wooden stool. What the heck is this? Candle stand. I feel bad. Ugh. How huge is this place? I wouldn't name it, it says Genovzgh. Uh huh. Same stuff. Like always. A note. A scrap of paper. It looks very old. Got a stale piece of paper. And what does it say? What the heck? Such strange names, dude. Uh huh. Same as always. Oh! Got a stale piece of paper. Another one. Still nothing we could decipher. Again. Mm hmm. Interesting. Richard? Okay. Richard's voice isn't, isn't coming from here. Oh, okay. Release the inside lock. Richard! Keith! Keith! Do you know where Sophie is? She's gone? I just looked away for a second and she wasn't there. I, I can't find her anywhere. He he might have kidnapped her. Calm down. Start from the top. Telling such a thoughtful papa just to calm down won't do any good, you know. Where? Wow. You. Did you take my daughter? Where's Sophie? Ah, Richard. So scared your daughter will leave this world as soon as you're not looking. Just like your wife was robbed from you by a robber's gun. What? What? Was it? Can't Don't listen to him, Richard. Your wife was such a cheerful and lively lady, Richard. But the truth is, she was an unbelievable idiot, leaving herself in the care of a useless man like you. But it must have been a happy death. Just one bang, and she was gone. And what a beloved daughter she left behind. You fawn over her so. A real memento of your dear wife, yes, but humans do tend to die so easily, as I'm sure you're well aware. Stop it. Calm down, Richard. Don't listen to a word he says. Oh, poor Richard. Alas, the Grundlers are down to just one Grundler. But don't you cry. You'll be the Grundlers again soon. In hell. Don't you dare insult my family! What did you do with Sophie? Give her back this instant. If you even lay a finger on her, I'll... You... you monster! Richard, settle down. Well, I guess I'd better go. Cute little Sophie is waiting for me. Let's head back to Lance and Shirley. I'm so yeah. sorry. I never even noticed she was gone. And where was she? The bathroom. Thought she had to take a piss, but she never came back out. So we busted down the door and she fled the coop. The toilet, there's water in it. She's a little bigger than a dead goldfish. Wow. Small shells, there's nothing in them. A sink, it seems to work fine. A window with iron bars. Even breaking the glass wouldn't let you go get out. And there's a cliff so you can't come in from outside. Ah, oh, okay. That little brat. <laughs> but why did she Surely I don't you get think it. He's getting the vent about the bathtub. 
Way too tight. My shoulders won't even fit. She's small enough that she could have, though. You mean Sophie snuck out on her own? She <laughs> couldn't sneak in through the windows. It's a sheer cliff outside. And I checked the rooms for any weird tricks when we first came in. The rim of the bathtub has marks made by heels, and some dust fell from the vent above. So she must have climbed up on the tub to get in there. That scrawny, <clears throat> delicate girl could easily crawl through. Richard, wait! You can't go alone! Please, let me go! That fiend has Sophie in his grasp! We need to find! Not yet, he doesn't. <laughs> He's the kind of guy who puts out corpses for show. If he'd caught Sophie, he'd gladly flaunt it, I'm sure. He must have overheard Richard looking for Sophie and decided to meddle. We'll find her before he does. Come on, David. A and me too! You stay here. You're out of sorts right now. If you tried anything sudden, I couldn't guarantee your safety. Wait! No, oh, Richard. You must find her for me. She's my oh. one and only daughter. After my wife passed away, I couldn't look her in the eye for quite some time. But still, she's grown to be a wonderful girl. She's my pride and joy. If anything happened to her, I... Jesus. S sorry. What's up we'll with He is a strange guy. Where did we come from, anyway? Where did that come from? There's a big hole high on the wall, you can't reach it. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, since when was there a table? Over here. I thought I can't go there. Okay, makes a lot of s There we are! I was looking for the wrong way. I wanted to go in here from the beginning. Mm -hmm. A diary. The tongue in which the slaves speak is so savage I can't remember even a word. I had the servants translate and type some words for me. I should do well to sell this dictionary to my countrymen. Since it can become so boring around here, I suppose I may as well try to learn. For if they should be saying anything impertinent or out of out in the fields. I'll set them aflame on the spot. It's one way to pass the time, I suppose. What the... Sun, river, moon, tree, whatever. Can I use those things to translate them? Oh, I can! Nice. Comparing the paper with the diary entry, you got the gist of what it says. And what does it say? My companion, I am to enter the dungeon. It is the tyrant's daughter's mouth to blame. I know that my head will be taken off, displayed outside as a warning. I am sorry that I was unable to hand it off to you. Please be careful. Okay. And the second paper? Fellow prisoners, we will bear this no more. It is time we stand up against this tyrant. We will fight for our companions laboring on the outside. I have obtained a key that will let us get outside. We will wait until night enter the garden and join with our fellows in the field. We will watch vigilantly and take the castle for ourselves. The four of us will pass the key from one to another each day, in the same order as the summer people know. Okay. Uh, does that mean I need to search the rooms again? Maybe. Look closer. Something stuck to the back of the grate. We got the key, okay. But we are two. I mean, it should be a key to the garden. But I don't know where the garden is, to be honest. Ah, uh, just let's go back. I'm gonna look for... The door? I think there was a door over there somewhere. You must 
Okay. That would have been strange if I couldn't pass here. Not that one. This one was locked. It was. Should it? <laughs> Just in case. I don't know where we are, but... What the heck? Evolve. I'm not going to do anything right now. The rest of iron door which won't open, it seems to be locked. I'm not going to use the wolf right away. Just in case. You never know what it's going to do. At least I don't want to be blamed for killing so few people. Ahem. What the actual tool? There is a hole. What if there's the depressions in the floor? I need to turn on the wall for this. I will see. What the heck? I found you can see the, a drain in the bottom. Okay, it seems that I need to turn on the wall. wall for, looks like a dead end. And over here. Is this the grave of the dude? I mean, I can't interact with it, but... Oh. Can't go down here. Nothing over there. Sophie? Step back. What the...? Why did it have to be like this? On our first vacation in ages. Wonder if Helena's okay. Okay. Oh, it's Sophie. Is something the matter? Why did you marry Mr. Keith, Helena? Why do you ask that? Lately... I felt like my heart doesn't ever beat fast anymore. I can think people are great and all, but that's it. I can't get excited about them like I used to. It's like I forgot how to love. David and Shirley get along really well, so I'm jealous. And I don't want to be by myself forever. So I'd like to know why you and Mr. Keith decided to get together, Helena. You know, love is like a jewel. It's buried deep in a person's heart. And one day, you just dig it up. Feelings like love and sympathy can create all different kinds of jewels. So jealousy, anger, and pride can shatter them too. Have you ever found such a jewel? We found her jewel back when we played Sandman, if you can remember. If you watched it anyway. Yeah, but I got rejected. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll find it again. I hope you can make a wonderful jewel someday. So what's your jewel like, Helena? Mine is already complete. I don't want to meddle with it anymore. I just want to keep it deep in my heart. It's so windy. <laughs> your hair's a mess, young lady. We should get back inside. <laughs> She's sweet. Ah, uh, no! No, no, no! Uh, wait, what? I didn't mean to. What the heck? But guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, if you're already subscribed, click on the notification bell down below so you get notified when I upload my videos. Share us on Twitter and on Facebook, and guys, we'll see you in the future, we're back in hell. Bye bye! Why are we 
playing a Sophie. <laughs>